know. He's interviewing the two very new employees at the moment. Now, the staff here are all dedicated, motivated professionals. And this is a very important time for us. We've got a very important launch late this afternoon. That's a funny time for lunch. Launch. Launch. We're launching our latest product, the One for Everything Remote Control. Remote control? Hey, that reminds me. I've just invented Mr. One. Heverington I mean... Sr. will be attending, and there'll be delegates arriving from all around the world. And I don't want anything to go wrong. Oh, you can trust us. Our reputation has spread far and wide. I see. Good. <clears throat> what exactly is our job? Ah, you two have got a very important role to play here at Heatherington Research. Research scientists? Lab technicians? No, you're here to sweep up. Oh. Refuse and hygiene operatives. And there are your jackets. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, what about the advert? Oh, yes. It says here, the firm encourages talent and has excellent opportunities for promotion. Of course, there are plenty of opportunities for spry young chaps to work their way ahead. Why, our head of marketing, Molly Spittoon, started only last year, delivering the mail. And now she's got a new post? <laughs> exactly. So one day, we could become top research scientists. Well, that, that's not exactly what I meant. Hey, Barry, just think of it. All day long inventing things. We could be the next Albert and Einstein. Hey, you better watch out for your job now you've employed us. Well, for now, I, I think you'd better concentrate on the cleaning. Oh, yes. We know what you mean. <laughs> Go on, Barry. And another thing, remember... No slacking! And I want this place spotless. Down there is the canteen. Over there is the photocopying room. Excuse me, what's that room down there? Oh, you can't go down there. That's for Hetherington's top scientists only. Silly you. That's not for the likes of you, Barry. Oh. <laughs> And this is your room. Well, I'll leave you to it. I hope you enjoy working here at Hetherington Industries. Here you are, Barry. Hold that. Hey, Paul. What are you giving me this for? Well, you can sweep up if you like. I'm going to be a famous Hetherington inventor. While we're here, don't you think you'd better leave the inventing to the experts? 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 What do you think I am? Can we come back to that one? What about my remote control? What about it? I bet it's every bit as good as theirs is. Watch. <laughs> Probably a bit of interference down here. <laughs> can scoff. Just you wait. If you ask me, they've already recognised my genius. And they'll be biding the time, that's all. Would Mr Paul Chuckle please report to Mr Henry <laughs> There you are, you see. They've probably lined up some high-tech job for me. There's some rubbish to be disposed of. After you, Einstein. <laughs> ah, there you are. It's that paper shredder. It's completely clapped out. I want you to throw it away. Certainly. Hang on a minute. I could have a look at it for you if you like. I'm good at that sort of thing. Whatever. Oh, oh dear. Give it to me. Oh. What do you know? It's working. Here, Barry. Move that lamp for me. That's it. Right. Get me some paper. Paper? Yes. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> see? Fixed it. Oh, excellent, Chuffle. Well done. Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing for a man of my calibre. Hey, what it was was the flange knot connecting the lynching pin. Come and have a look. I 
think we'd better be going, Paul. Barrett, you keep out of this. Yes, any idiot could have done it. Oh. 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 Surprisingly powerful for such a small machine, isn't it? <laughs> there you are, then. See ya. Just a minute. Where are my papers? They were on the desk. Oh. Have you seen them? Were they important? Important? Those papers are my notes for the presentation this afternoon. They took me hours to write out. In that case, we haven't seen them. Oh. <laughs> hey, Paul, what are you up to? I'll show them. I'll have them begging me to be a Hetherington inventor. You know what they say about Paul Chuckle? Yes. This'll be the invention to end all inventions. One for everything remote control. <laughs> This'll knock spots off theirs. Tell you what, will you open that stuff for me over there? Get the bits out. Certainly. Good lad. It looks a bit complicated, Paul. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll go and find my screwdriver while you start putting it together. When I get back, I'll give you a hand. I'm keeping my eye on you. Secret door. <laughs> oh dear, you've finished it. I was just coming to give you a hand with that. Were you? Yes. Still not to worry. You've done a good job there, Barry. Thank you. What are you going to do now? Have you got a green banana? A green banana? Yes. Oh dear, I left it at home. Typical. Look, nip up to the canteen and see if they've got one. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to do all sorts of scientific stuff. Far too technical for you to understand. Off you go. Take good care of that. I'm quite capable of taking care of myself, thank you. You just watch out for yourself. I will. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, me off. Me off. There we are. Nice cup of tea. Hi, Paul. Hiya. What do you think? Cool. What is it? It's my new invention. This is going to revolutionise the world. What does it do? It's an instant suntan machine. But is it safe? 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 I don't know yet. That's why I needed a guinea pig to test it on. You're not going to test it on some poor, dumb, fluffy animal, are you? No, of course not. <laughs> I'm going to test it on you. Well, that's all right. Hey! Only joking. That's what I wanted this for. You see, this is green because it isn't ripe. Now, you know what I'm going to do with it? You're not, are you? Yes. I'm going to put it in my instant suntan machine. There. Now, I'll turn it on, and in a few seconds, it'll be ripe. It's all to do with ultraviolet rays. Oh. Now, stand back. <laughs> Open the doors, Barry. Me? Yes. Has it changed colour? It has that. Oh. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I'm going to have to turn down the induction instigator voltage. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No. Good. Get in. Hey! Yes. I'm not going in there. Yes, you are. You're going to step into the future. 
Looks like I'm going to step into an old cupboard. Get in there. Oh, here. I'll put this on. Just in case. <laughs> That's it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, the tea. How can I make a presentation like this? I won't even be able to get up on stage with this leg. Well, perhaps you could video the speech and then play it back to the delegates. It's, it's a very 21st century idea. Brilliant! I'll do it! Oh, the machine. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Should be done now. Let's have a look. Barry? 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 Where are you? I'm here. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. But I can't see you. Oh, well, I can see you. <laughs> Do you know, you come past me then, I never even saw you. Barry? Barry, talk to me. Hello. Oh, thank goodness. Do you know, for a minute there, I thought... Barry, now where are you? I'm over here. I wish you'd stay in one place. You what? I was just saying, I wish you... Barry? Barry? You're invisible. I've made an invisibility machine. Oh, just wait till they hear about this. Hetherington inventors, here I come. Can't you not? Something awful has happened. It's Barry. I can't see him now. Neither can I. Why not? He's disappeared. Doesn't surprise me. He doesn't look the sort who'd stick a job for long. No, no. I've made him invisible. Ludicrous. That's not possible. If you could manage that, you'd be the most sought-after inventor in the world. Would I? Yes. Come with me. I'm not going anywhere. Who do you think I am? Go on, get out. I can. That's because we're both invisible now. Hey, I've got some great news for you. We're going to be rich and we're going to be inventors. Are we? How? With my new invisibility machine. It doesn't look any different to your instant suntan machine to me. Ah, well, to the layman it wouldn't. Come on, let's go and show Hetherington Industries what we're made of. Seniors here. Oh, thank you very much. I, I, I'll be there right away. Oh dear. Shh. Uh, hello. Can, can I help you? I'm afraid I can't see you. <laughs> Two weeks to get a pair of replacement glasses. What am I supposed to do in the meantime? Ooh, it's a goal. Can you hear me?
Come on, quick, let's go. No, it's all right. You can't see us. We're invisible. Poor silly me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Hey, Paul. I wouldn't be surprised if they make you the top Hetherington inventor, you know. Yeah, well, I deserve it. Hey, I've just had a thought. Why don't we sneak down here and have a peek? Hey, I don't think we should. It says top secret. We're not meant to go down there. Yeah, but we're invisible. Who would know? How did that get there? I don't know. Hey, what's this? <laughs> ah, hello, gentlemen. Are you enjoying the conference? I'm sure of it. Pardon? Wouldn't you please go back in? Because I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It's something marvellous for all of you. It's really good. <laughs> Of course, we're all familiar with the concept of the television remote control. Yes, those useful everyday devices that none of us would be without. Hey, she's got the wrong thing. I can see that. Hey, I know. What? <laughs> oh, no. Who hasn't done this with their television? <coughs> well, I suppose you realize that this is no ordinary remote control. For instance, imagine the phone's ringing. Wouldn't you like to be able to do this? Oh, dear. I don't think you should do that anymore, Paul. I think you're right. Tell you what, plan B. We'll go up on the stage. Hey? Yes. We're invisible, remember? Nobody will see us. All right. <laughs> but the unique Hetherington Industries One for Everything remote control can do more mundane chores. Take a look at those curves. See how easily they glide over. No. Isn't this what you'd like to see in your living room? <laughs> Why are they laughing? It's not supposed to be funny. Try on here. We got oh! it. Come, there we are. Come here, you. Are you sure we're invisible, Paul? 